This video is going to give you a brief introduction to alpha decay. To begin with, let's talk a little bit about the notation. So this will be the element I'm going to represent with the letter X, and to the left of that I'm going to write the number of nucleons. These are neutrons and protons, basically it's everything that's found in the nucleus of our molecule. Underneath that, this can going to be the number of protons. It's not a fraction, it's just one number over top of the other. So this will be the number of protons. As an example of how this would work, if this is the helium atom, I've got two electrons, two uh, protons, and two neutrons. I would write this with four nucleons, that's four particles in the nucleus, two of which are protons, so four over two. And then if I look at the periodic table, I know that because I have two protons, that's the second element, and that's helium. Because remember, the number of protons dictates which element you have. So there's my helium. Now, when I look at this as well, remember that at the top, the nucleons, the reason why we do it this way, this is the mass. It's the number of AMUs you have. And the electrons do add something to the amount of mass, but because an electron is about one two thousandth of an AMU, it's so small we don't even consider it. We just consider the heavy objects, which are neutrons and protons. On the bottom, the number of protons, that's what we're looking at, that way we're looking at charge. So when we're balancing our equations, we're going to conserve mass and conserve charge using this notation. Okay. So let's look at a particle, polonium, and there it goes. That was alpha decay. And what that is is two neutrons and two protons. So that's an alpha particle. It's basically a helium ion. No electrons, just two protons and two neutrons. So now let's look at how we balance a chemical equation with this. We're going to start with polonium. And on the periodic table, it's element number 84. So it's got 84 protons and 218 um, nucleons. In other words, it has a mass unit of 218 AMUs. On the right-hand side, what I have so far with an alpha decay is four nucleons, two protons, so that's the nucleus of a helium atom. Now I just need to balance this. I'll start by looking at conservation of mass. If I look at the top numbers, I have 218 AMUs, or 218 nucleons, and that's equal to four AMUs, or four nucleons, plus something. So what plus four equals 218? Something with 214 nucleons, or a mass of 214 AMUs. Now, if I look at the bottom, that's conservation of charge. So I've got 84 protons. On the right side, I've got two protons. So what do I add to two to get 84? 82. And then I look at the periodic table and realize that something with 82 protons is lead.